bank. Those pictures, of course, coming through from uh, the uh, Whitman's Lightship there. Now, race through the coast, 16 for Forever Racing, 795 Terry's Hope, Ganga Giants Lightship. And there it is there. It looks absolutely magnificent, doesn't it? It's a lovely shot of the Whitman's Lightship as they move in for race number three at Oak Bank. We ourselves move uh, up to line as we take in our uh, to Oak Bank. Now, race three, here's Ron. And we're also waiting on Mountain Affair. Mountain Affair is second pick behind three carrier till he's on 370 Mountain Affair 390. 510 about rigmarole, 740 it's my secret. This is the second division. Of the Dixons Limited Share Brokers Hurdle. The top weight goes in, Mountain Affair. Soon see some action. And the light's on. And they're on their way. And looked a pretty tidy to start. Good as Glimmer on the inside just steadied back off them. Top Fuel is looking for the early lead as they forge to the first flight. Going up with a carrier till and over on the outside. It's my secret. And King Scenic pushes through between them as they clear that first hurdle. Back in behind them, Gentle Habits, Adventure the Rail and around them, We Ourselves. Mountain Affair, Rigmarole. Gee, they're tightly bunched as they go to the second flight with Quattro Gambian Good as Glimmer. Only about four or five lengths first to last in the early stages of the second division of the hurdle. And the leader now is carrier till a half in front of it. It's my secret who out jumped him over that next one, the last along the back in the first circuit, and landed three quarters clear. Carrier Till's rider now takes hold, eases back to third, Rigmarole goes to second. In fourth placing behind Carrier Till was Top Jewel, out wide a mountain affair, the inside gentle habits. Old Quattro Gamby's off around them, four and five wide. Good as Glimmer back with We Ourselves between horses. Then King Scenic and Adventure is back to the tail of the field. They've steadied now as they come down to the first of four in the straight in the first circuit, and the leader over it was It's My Secret. From second out wide, old Quattro Gamby. Third is Rigmarole. Fourth out wide from near the rear. Good as Glimmer's gone up quickly. Carrier till the inside. Top Duel is there with those, and they were followed by Mountain Affair. Further back, We Ourselves. Gentle Habits was next, followed further back by King Scenic, and last is Adventure. Heading to the last one out of the straight in the first circuit, and it's It's My Secret from Good as Glimmer. Quattro Gambian, Rigmarole, Top Duel, Mountain Affair all in a line. Down on the inside, Carrier Till. This has been a real spectacle, this hurdle. Further back behind them, We Ourselves heads the others as they go behind the hill. They've got one to jump behind the hill at the 1300 metre point and the front runners here, It's My Secret and Good as Glimmer, they're joint front runners, leading by two and a half to Rigmarole, travelling well third, Quattro Gamby was fourth, Mountain Affairs wider out, Carrier Till back on the inside, then Top Jewel as they go to the jump at the 1300 metre mark. Uh, well back in the field, we ourselves with Gentle Habits Adventure and about 10 to King Scenic last of all. They're inside the 1,200 metre mark and it's still It's My Secret, the inside and Good as Glimmer, the outside locked together with Rick Morrell Camp right behind them third. And they steady again as they prepare to make a rise now and go towards the next flight. They're at the 1,000 metre mark and it's Good as Glimmer shading It's My Secret. Rick Morrell's gone up quickly around the outside and so has Mountain Affair with a big sprint. He's let go and gone after them quickly but Rick Morrell took the lead. Rick Morrell by two and a half, King Scenic... Oh, It's My Secret's gone amiss. He's been eased out of the race. It's My Secret has been eased down. So one of the fancied runners out of the race now. And it's Rigmarole leading for the downhill charge. By a length and a half, he's travelling all right as they go over the last one on the far side of the course. And there's one uh, in trouble there. One crashed. One has come down. And as they move down the side now, it's Murph going well. Uh, so should say Rigmarole going well by three lengths. Mountain Affair, hard press second. Top Jules running on third. Four or five away adventure. Then back in behind those. Then came Mountain Affair followed by Gentle Habits, and they turn for home and straighten up now, two more to jump and Rigmarole led We Ourselves, over on the outside, Top Jewel, they've cleared it well then Adventure Mountain Affairs, not going to run a place it would seem, and wider out was Gentle Habits they come to the last and Rigmarole is clear, he cleared it nicely, and Rigmarole set for victory, goes home in the Ingham Colours to score, the Ulcerese Colours carried victory yet again, and for the Ingham Brothers, it's Rigmarole by four and a half to five, second We Ourselves, third Top Jewel, Adventure fourth, then Mountain Affair followed by Gentle Habits, King Scenic followed by Good as Glimmer, and they were followed further back by Quattro Gamby, who was the last one in. Now, It's My Secret was pulled up, and we did have uh, one come to grief over the far side. It was Carry the Till, Carry a Till, the uh, rider is back aboard, and uh, It's My Secret accompanying him as they just amble down the hill. All right, well, uh, Rigmarole, the winner there for uh, the Hawks establishment. And there they go again to those cerise colours. He took a peep over the old shoulder there. No worries, Rigmarole, 4 and 11, the miners. Now, 
Now the winner there was 9, 8 and 5 there in Tasmania, by the way. Now race through at the coast, forever racing at 18, Terry's Hope 625, 620, 62 for Gang Gajai, 60... off and running this time. Uh, Ptolemy O'Kin a little bit tardy away down to the inside. Away quickly City Hall showing speed. Bomberville straight into the bridle and getting up on the inside. Solid Wood followed by Just Sterling. Just off them Dale Band from Belzevere. Further back in the race then came the most elegant. Della Vista, Ptolemy O'Kin and Regal Conspiracy down the side and Bomberville over on the inside in front of Solid Wood. City Hall is a head away third the outside. Two lengths further back Just Sterling, Dale Band. Most elegant back in the middle running sixth. A length and a half bells of ear two to Ptolemy O'Ken. Della Vista giving them a mile start and Regal Conspiracy last of all. 5.50 out, Bomber Bill nearly a length in front of Solid Wood, hard ridden. Two to City Hall and Dale Band. Further back in the race than most elegant. A gap, bells of ear just sterling, but Bomber Bill on the turn. Straightens with a good break, two and a half in front of Solid Wood, who's hard at it. Two further back in the race, most elegant, but Bomber Bill at the 300 metre mark has lengthened, got three lengths, Solid Wood. Then most elegant coming down the middle, coming home fairly well. Bomber Bill with 150 to go. Two or three in front. Most Elegant is finishing off hard on the outside. Bomber Bill in front. Most Elegant pegging it back. Goes home better. Most Elegant gets up. Most Elegant a half-length Bomber Bill who had the race shot to pieces. Two away third in the race is Solid Wood. Then Della Vista never came into it from Belzevere. Dale O'Ban. Regal Conspiracy. A gap. Ptolemy O'Ken. A long way back. Just Sterling and City Hall dropped off to run last. Seven the winner, most elegant, nine fifty and two dollars forty. Two bomber bill one thirty, ten solid wood three seventy. Number seven, most elegant, nine ten, two fifty, two bomber bill one forty, ten solid wood five twenty. Hold it up. And most elegant's got him about twenty or thirty metres off the post. Most elegant number seven, written by Karen McAvoy, has beaten the favourite bomber bill. In one nine seven two. Gee, that's a quick run, one nine seven two. After Bomber Bill shook off Solid Wood turning for home, he had a big break on them, but Most Elegant has got him in the last 30 or 40 metres. Third placing goes to number 10, and that is Solid Wood. And the tote, 7 Most Elegant, 9.52.40, 2 Bomber Bill, 1.30. The favourite win, City, jumped as well as anything, commencing nicely the roughy forsaken goal. Mrs. Geiger handy with express odds. Then She Wishes followed closely, then on the inside, Flying Celebrity and a Gap Denari. Natural is my name. Followed by Fortunata getting out of its ground now. Is forsaken goal, passed by Zijan, and then comes Darmala, two lengths Celebrity, and three quarters to win Surge. 800 to go, and Mrs. Geiger is the leader now. Three quarters of a length on Win City. Third is the Kiwi, She Wishes, Flying Celebrity next, followed by express odds and forsaken gold is again going forward followed a length and a half further away by denari natural is my neighbor over on the rails from zijan fortunata and then darmala in search and celebrities last as they round the corner mrs geiger first into the straight a length and a quarter clear on wind city again bridging the gap on mrs geiger she wishes third and then flying celebrity followed closely on the outside by express odds and he can't get out on natural is my name but danny beasley goes full more on wind city and Win City races a length and a half. She wishes express odds and flying celebrity. Forget natural is my name, but it's all Win City. Win City, a great winner from express odds and she wishes. Then flying celebrity, Fortunata, followed by Damala. Natural is my name. Mrs. Geiger knocked up. Then in search, Denari, followed by Zijan. Second last celebrity and forsaken gold at the tail of the field. One Win City, 280, 150, 11 Express Odds to return, 790, 2 She Wishes, 250. For the win and $1.60 for the place. Jump well, sat back second, given full ball by Dan Beasley, up the rise and the City Dancer filly raced away and has had a comfortable win in the time yet to be displayed. Standing by for full placings, number one the winner, Win City by City Dancer from Crested Jewel. Bred by Mr. J. Magna, raced by the group including J and R, G, R, K, W and H, J Rankin in partnership with J. F. Magna, trained by Ronnie Quinton and Danny Beasley aboard. Number 11 is second, and that is Express Odds, written by Craig Carmody, has paid $8.40. And number two, She Wishes, third, written by Jim Cassidy, has paid $2.30. The runner-up is by Greenline Express. From Odd Men, Noel Mayfield-Smith, training, and the third, number two, She Wishes, by 
Ken Fair from Miss Saigon, Wayne Pike, Jimmy Cassidy, with number three, the official fourth flying celebrity. The Quinella, $57.50, exact is $76.20, and the trifecta, $612.60. She's now had nine starts for six wins, no seconds, no thirds. She's a very genuine horse. Excuses for a last start failure. She went very fiercely in the birthday card. She drew off the track, and uh, she's did well subsequently and uh, hello bookies were prepared to uh, to take her on a wee bit with the money coming for natural is my name she started a firm pick and uh, has uh, scored and scored comfortably the well-tried natural is my name blocked away at the top of the straight but had room in the home section down past the 200 and face value disappointing full honors to the favorite and winner win city checking totes now Number one, Wind City, paid 250. Davis Streakham for the Pino Services three year old handicap. Starter holds them. That restless horse has been subdued. Designer Styles rider revving it up, wants to go to sleep in the stalls. Manetti had its head turned into the next stall. That's been straightened by an attendant, so a few of these are fidgety. Hasty Jess stands as quiet as a lamb. Designer style still not con concentrating fully. Consequently, we've got a delay with the light coming on. It's there now, and he didn't give them another chance. They're off at the first attempt, and one of the best away, Manetti with Knight's Table, and also Fairway Girl and the Gold Armbands and Cap Spears through at the 1,000. Close handy to those, then came Lord Roseland, and also Hasty Jest, and also in that division was Sabak Lord. A length and a half hunger strike, Fairway Game, followed by Acacia, Mr. Designer, start at the 800, and three to time travel. They're moving along the far side of the course now, and the leader on the inside running was Fairway Girl by about a half Manetti. In third spot, Lord Roseland land as they go to the 600 and now they charge downhill. Hasty just slides up to be fourth from further back in the field then Savak Lord improving. Hunger strike the inside as they're about to round the home turn from Knight's Table Designer Style. Further back fairway game time travel Acacia Miss last for home and Manetti cruise to the front now. Kicked away a length and a half in front. Here comes Hasty Jest it's travelling better hands and heels Hasty Jest it's moved up to Manetti. Hasty Jest put its nose in front of Manetti further back behind them Hunger Strike but it's Hasty Jest to Manetti. Hasty Jest to head in front Manetti comes back on the inside hasty jest on the outside Manetti the inside maybe Manetti a nose coming back hasty jest might have just been tipped out on the line third I think hunger strike although I was concentrating on the first pair and slipping right up on the rail Lord Roseland from designer style acacia Miss Savak Lord well back then came time travel fairway game and further back night's table and last in the gold armbands and cap was fairway girl well hasty jest looked like it had the measure of Manetti but Manetti has fought back and there just might be a margin in Manetti's favour here. But if you're on Hasty Jest, do not give up hope. Hasty Jest and Manetti. Manetti possibly just in front, getting to the line now. There won't be much in it. Yes, Manetti will get it, but that's not official. Manetti number one is a three-year-old of brown gilding by Will Dancer from Indeed a Lady, Reagan Rayner for George Dawson. George bred this horsey part, owns it with WHY Coo and GB Go. Hasty Jest, number three by Rory's Jester from Hasty Departure, Simon Price and Peter Hayes. And Lord Roseland slipped right up along the rail to get uh, probably third here. Lord Roseland in the all-white by average game from Unrequited Love. Joe Bowditch for Ken Matson trained on the course. We're standing by for all placings after the P&O Services Handicap, which was the first leg of the Fortrello. Yes, Manetti, the winner over Hay... ...and running. Admired has bounced out quickly with Fighter Command and General Feelgood out in a hurry today. He's quickly got the front of the early point now behind those Century Drive. Jangling Jack going around the outside now of Waikiki Sunset and further back Erin Bank. To the back of the track they race General Feelgood leads moving up on the outside Jangling Jack. 
Then came Waikiki Sunset from Admired pushing up on the inside of Fighter Command. A length and a half, Aaron Bank. A length for the back, Century Drive. Centoy from Out Choice, who's three out, two or three, Dover Street. Further back, Wadge of Star caught deep on the outside of our position. Three lengths further back in the race up the back is my Jasper back, second last and last of all, Schmuder. At the 13.50 metre mark at the back of the track, they race and the leader, General Feelgood, in the lead today. And he moved out by two lengths to Admired, who's over on the inside. There's another runner on the outside of him as they go along the back of the track and they're about three lengths in front of Fighter Command. They're followed by uh, that one on the outside up uh, third now. Second is Jangling Jack. Admired now third. Two further back Fighter Command. One further back in the race, Waikiki Sunset. A length and a half to Erin Bank and then our choice. They're followed by Century Drive, Centoy. A gap in the race, Dover Street, Wadjib Star. Two to our position. Well back by Jasper, second last in company with Schmuter. Inside the 800 metre mark, General Feelgood. A half in front of Jangling Jack. A length admired a length in fighter command two further back in the race then Waikiki Sunset under pressure from Century Drive trying to get off the fence in the middle is Aaron Bank a length Dover Street they're followed by Centoy our choice our position by Jasper still a mile back coming to the turn with Wadjib Star and Schmuder last of all Jangling Jack under pressure General Feelgood in front when they turn for home at Might about to get out Jangling Jack's hard at it two further back Century Drive from Wadjib Star my Jasper off the track coming down the middle running home well Jangling Jack grabbed by my my Jasper out in the middle. She's come from a mile back and she's just walked straight past them, My Jasper. And he hasn't let her down. She put four lengths on our position to second from Century Drive and Dover Street. Oh, but this is a canter in the park for this one. My Jasper wins by five or six. Easing up. Second home is our position. A length away, third Century Drive. A gap, Dover Street. Wadjib Star, our choice. Schmuder further back in the race admired. Jangling Jack. Then came Centoy. A gap in the race, Fighter Command. And the last three... Aaron Bank with it, Waikiki Sunset, and General Feelgood led and ran last. And the winner number four, my Jasper, 350 and 180, approximately 13 hour position, 510, 14 century drive, $17. A note, uh, phone tappers down and a uh, delay with totes. But back second to third, last coming to the final turn. For my Jasper, 360-180 on Super Tab, 13 hour position to return 470 and 14 for third century drive, placed at an end of $15.50. Our next event will be Canberra race number three, that race at 2.17, one Fenian 6.10 to... Racing, nice level start, Valence and over the rising, tending to drop off in the early stages, and Dibbles Dane and Midwest are disputing the lead with Midwest hitting the front from Dibbles Dane. The favourite boat chap moving into third posse from Potomax Boy and Alavana, then Irish Air. A length and a half, Lord Garganta, followed by El Man's Joy and Joss Sticks, Bombast the inside. A couple of lengths to Vitronite, then Obsessed, followed by Gracida over the rising. Crimson second last, and Valence is the tail ender. Working to the side, 8.50 to go, Midwest leads three quarters. Quarters of a length on Bo Chap. Dibbles Day in the third. Potter Max Boy the outside fourth. And then Old Man's Joy Irish Air from Alavana. A couple of lengths to Bombast and Lord Garganta. Then Joss Dix followed closely by Obsessed. A gap to Vitronite and then Gracida over the rising Crimson. Is second last and two or three lengths further back. Valens 500 left to go. And the leader is Midwest. Got away a shade about a length and a quarter on the favourite Bo Chap. As they round the home corner a length to Potter Max Boy. Dibbles Day in fourth the inside from Alavana. And then a gap to Al Man's Joy. Over the rise, 300 to go, and Bochamp headed Midwest. Bochamp down to the 250. More than a length, Midwest, followed by Potomac's boy. And a gap to Alabama. Bombast is weaving clear. But it's Bochamp, 120 to go. Two lengths on Bombast and Alabama. Bochamp written for dear life. Bombast is bridging the gap. Bochamp still in front. Bochamp. Bochamp beat Bombast and just takes third, followed by over the rising Alavana and then obsessed Gracida Potter Max Boy. Dibbles Dane Valence, El Man's Joy, Lord Garganta, Midwest Irish Air, Crimson second last and Vitronite back at the tail of the field. Eight Bochamp, four dollars one seventy, seven Bombast, three ten, one Joss Sticks, three thirty. Just a moment. Bochamp showing four dollars ten and one dollar eighty. Bombast came home very, very doggedly on the outside, making it a con keenly contested finish. But Bochamp has held on to win. Eight, seven, and one they are. Number eight, four, ten, and one eighty. Number seven, Bombast has paid three fifty, and Jostix, a sterling first up run from a spell, has paid two dollars and ninety cents. Eight, seven, and one. It was a superfecta in New South Wales. 4th, 5th and 6th will be advised shortly. The winner, 
Bochamp is a Harry Lawton syndicated horse by bureaucracy from Las Kaya. Mas Kaya is trained by Gay Waterhouse here on the track for G.J. McCauley, H. Chow, K. Lewis and Mrs. D. Marquez and written by Kevin Moses beating number seven Bombas first up since the Summer Cup here when third by Bellotto from La Grey Seal of Brown Gilding four John Hawks, Larry Cassidy and number one third Joss Sticks trained here by Bob Pierce is a Bay Gilding six Joss Sticks pride of Kalina Marmalade Sky and Rodney Quinn the rider. Time for the race, 1.24.17 on this upgraded track to dead. Now the fourth has gone to number 12 over the rising. Number nine was fifth, Alavana, and number 10 was sixth, Gracida. Eight, seven, one, 12, nine, and 10. The winning margin was a short head, there wasn't much in it, short head, three quarters, second and third, 124.17, broken down to a first 600 of 36, 66, and the last 600, 35, 76. Oh, Bookie's taking a battering out here this afternoon. The um, first winner, La Zagaletta, was very heavily supported. In Benham Street. Big one on Monday, the Great Eastern, they do three circuits. They're away. And uh, a little bit slow to begin, Sergeant Bilko. Nice charge for the early leaders. They draw towards the first of the big fences, where it's price of fame shaded by Morris, who's going to be ridden into this fence to clear it by about a length. Second placing Hoskins' bid. Third was price of fame, and they were followed over on the outside by Faliro. They were followed then by Nippon Nugget up and around the outside of Great White Shark as they go to the second. Further back, then our worthy star followed then on the inside, travelling through on the rail, Sergeant Bilko, and three away last of all as they go to the Shillaby a road jump by Tinted Wonder. Over that fence and now they take the left hand turn and spear out along into the open country. They're out into the paddock now working towards the fallen log and Morris is the leader by five. Second price of fame. The rider has taken hold of Hoskins' bid and eases back as the leader clears the log. Back on the outside of uh, Hoskins' bid moving up on level terms to third placing came Nip on Nugget from Faliro. Then Great White Shark as Morris increases his lead. Further back in the field then as they go to the next fence with Morris now about nine or ten in front. We have behind those then came Sergeant Bilko. Further back to our worthy star and tinted wonder. Morris now about to come down the hill. He's cleared all those fences in the far straight and he's 15 lengths in front of Price of Fame as they work downhill to the downhill double. Here's the first of the double. And it's Morris out with a big lead. He must be a dozen lengths or so in front of Price of Fame. Third placing Hoskins bid. In fourth position, Nippon Nugget as the leader clears the second leg of that double. Back on the inside pushing through Great White Shark and they were followed back behind them then. Over over on the inside, Faliro. Around the outside of Faliro was Sergeant Bilko. Four lengths, our worthy star. And two away, last of all, Tinted Wonder at the one fence in the straight. And it's Morris by a big margin. Second price of fame. Third placing at the moment, held by Hoskins' bid. And they were followed by Nick Pong Nugget. Great White Shark goes through on the rail. Over on the outside, improving all the time is Sergeant Bilko with one circuit to go. It's Morris by about a dozen to 15 lengths. Further back, second last, Faliro. And last, or third last, and last of all, the pair together were Tinted Wonder at our worthy star. As they go out of the straight, and Morris leads by about 10 or 12 to Hoskins' bid, going to second around Price of Fame. Over on the outside, still improving, Sergeant Bilko, followed then by Great White Shark. Back to it, she was the first fence in the, in the race in the initial lap, and they cleared it pretty well there. Back behind them, Nippon Nugget. Lost a bit of ground when they started to quicken, and they were followed by Faliro, and forget the other pair for the moment. Over the next fence, and oh, Hoskins' bid is down. Hoskins' bid tangled up with Price of Fame and Co, but Price of Fame re regained his footing. That horse has got up on to his feet. We'll check the rider shortly and the leader was Morris. By about 12 or 15 again, he's showing plenty of dash today. Second placing was uh, at the moment still there, battling on Sergeant Bilko and they were followed then by Falera around the outside and on the inside was Nippon Nugget who overreached at it. Price of fame lost ground when he got tangled up with that fallen horse and so too did Great White Shark a long way back tinted wonder at our worthy star. They've really uh, strung right out now and it's Morris a mile in front as he completes the last fence along the fast straight. He jumped that by 20 lengths. Second placing Sergeant Bilko. Third position held down at the moment by Nippon Nugget. And there's another one up on his outside for Lero. Then about 10 lengths further back to Great White Shark Price of Fame and a half a furlong away. Tinted Wonder at our worthy star. Here's the first of the double. Morris cleared it well over the second leg of the double. He goes over it brilliantly Morris. He's only got one more fence to clear it. He's 15 in front. Second placing at the moment is held by Sergeant Bilko. In third position for Lero. Followed back on the inside then by Nippon Nugget 
second, but if Morris clears the last, it's going to be Morris all the way. Here he comes up and over, and Morris is home. Morris, a dashing ride, a brilliant ride by Jamie Evans, showing all that flair that he did in England when he was successfully riding there for a stint. And Morris is going to bolt in. Morris, eased down, is going to win by about 15 lengths. Second placing Sergeant Bilko for the moment. He's getting tired, but he will get second. Third nip on Nugget. Fourth in was Filiero, then Price of Fame. And further back, Great White Shark followed further back, just arriving now. We've got Tinted Wonder and our worthy star. You've got to follow Jay Evans, and uh, there he is there at $5.60, $1.80. He's pretty happy about it too, and why wouldn't he be winning the Carlton Mid-Strength Steeplechase? Over the distance of 3,250 metres, Morris, Sergeant Bilko, Nippon Nugget, the late miles into third spot. OK, now moving in well. Gold Coast Race 5, $4.00. Racing in the Easter Cup now and unfettered on the inside, bounced out in front. Stonington is going forward and further out on the track here. Willie Watt in company with Esprit de Corps. Willie Watt just ridden along to try and take up a position out deep. He's going to be wide around the first turn. Unfettered lead now from moving up Stonington, Prince Standard and Graceful Encounter is four wide a length. Further back out five deep is Willie Watt around Esprit de Corps. Royal Caliph followed over on the inside by Ildon. Then Stars Fear, Von Ann back in the middle from Starbinder. Then came Simply True, two lengths further back. Back, no need and last of all Majestic Avenue graceful encounter in front up the back of the 1400 Willie Watts gone up second a length and a half Prince Stand down on the outside of Stonington the rail a length and a half then to unfettered Esprit de Corps out three deep Raw Caleb is moving up in the middle a length and a half further back Star Sphere Von Ann back in the center Rilled on the fence a length further back then simply true Starbinder on the inside one further back then no need and last of all Majestic Avenue they've gone to the top of the hill inside the thousand metre mark and Willie Wallace rolled to the front now Willie Watt in front by two lengths, Graceful Encounter. Prince Standard third, the outside, a length for the back, Esprit de Corps is posted four deep, running fourth, followed by Stonington. Raw Caliph back in the middle, a length for the back, then unfitted from Star Sphere. They're followed by Ildon from Von Ann over on the inside, Star Binder. Then came Simply True, No Need, and last of all, Majestic Avenue. 600 metres to go in the Easter Cup, and the leader, Willie Watt, ridden along a little as Prince Standard and Graceful Encounter go up to join him. A length and a half, Esprit de Corps has been wide around Raw Caliph. Stonington Ill on to the fence from Von Ann and further back Star Sphere. Then no need. Well back Starbinder. Simply true. Majestic Avenue and on the turn unfettered. Last of all, Willie Watt is grabbed now by Prince Standard who hit the front turning. Prince Standard went to the front. Ill Don and Willie Watt back on the inside fighting back. Royal Caliph further out with Esprit de Corps and Von Ann coming down the middle. Ill Don up on the inside reached the front from Royal Caliph. Von Ann is running on fairly well. Royal Caliph after Ill Don. It's Royal Caliph. Ill Don fighting back. Ill Don in front of Royal Caliph, Ildon, Ildon and Nick Royal Caliph are half away, third Von Ann. Then Willie Watt from Prince Standard, no need, Majestic Avenue. Starbinder followed by Stonington. Behind those then simply true, Esprit de Corps followed by Star Sphere. Graceful encounter dropped right out and is back at the tail with unfettered. Winner number eight, Ildon, 7.22.91, Royal Caliph, 3.80, 2 Von Ann, 3.90. On the Super Tab with correct weight at the Gold Coast. 8 Ill Don, 7.22.80, 1 Royal Caliph, $3.40 and 2 Von Ann to pay $2.90. Treble on combination, seven $595.20. About uh, four minutes away, the next at uh, Canberra. Shall Don, we... Nashra, Willer, three winners. And they're off in the derby. They came out in a good line too. Lawyer from the inside, Grand Archway and Sky Height, three of the best out. Able Master and Dignity Dancers working forward now from El Duce and two or three lengths Serena. Now Glenn Boss aboard Sky Heights fires up the Victorian and Sky Heights leads a bit more than a length on Dignity Dancer as they go out of the straight. Lawyer's in third spot, followed by the Philly Grand Archway, a gap to Able Master. El Duce second last and a couple of lengths further back is Arena. It's Sky Heights leading the way as they race along the side and go towards the 1800. Sky Heights is out by about two lengths now on Dignity Dancer. In the third position, Lawyer, two lengths to Grand Archway, followed by El Duce. Able Master is back second last and Arena is at the tail of the field.